Tom Selleck might not appear in the public eye often at all, but rest assured, the longtime actor has done well for himself. So much so that he's called a sprawling California ranch home for years and owned further properties like a unique Los Angeles condo. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residence because it's not safe for anyone. The man, the myth, the mustache. Tom Selleck has always been something of a Hollywood enigma, largely thanks to his preference for living away from the limelight. And yet, this talented actor has still managed to remain a staple in TV crime dramas for over four decades. During a recent interview, Selleck would credit his career longevity on striking the perfect balance between work and home. For him, that's a 65-acre ranch in Ventura, California, where he and his wife Jilly have lived and raised their family since 1988. How could he afford such a giant estate way back when? Tell me, have you ever heard of a TV series called Magnum P.I.? That thing was a phenomenon and Tom landed the role back in 1980 after years spent as a recognizable face on a series of TV ads for companies companies like Coca-Cola. All that advertisement and TV money made Selleck a very wealthy guy pretty quickly, and prior to securing his massive ranch, he also bought a 1,800 square foot condo in Los Angeles, transforming it into a rustic space that looked like an Edwardian country villa. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. In this one, checking out how Tom Selleck and his mustache unwind at his stunning properties. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. We're gonna start with Tom's apartment in California. He bought this property in the early 80s, and while it's not clear exactly how much he spent on it, he certainly dropped even more money into rehauling its interiors in a very unique way. Let's just say that there's a distinctly English feel to Tom's home, located 16 floors above a Los Angeles boulevard that looks out onto Beverly Hills. After all, there aren't that many places where you can sit in such classic wood paneling, surrounded by hunting prints, and looking out at palm trees. Following the immediate success of Magnum P.I., Selleck would spend much of his time living in a rental in Hawaii where he filmed that series. But every weekend, he would return to California to spend time here in this 1,800 square foot apartment that he promised himself would look nothing like a condo by the time he was done. So with the help of interior designer James Blakely III, Tom set to work to accomplish that task. A year and a half later, he had a space that resembled an Edwardian home with honey-toned wood panels, oak parquet floors, walnut cabinets, Persian carpets, pipe racks, arches, columns, western bronzes, and much more. More than just that, almost every vertical space is covered in California pine that was painted, stripped, and then waxed. Recalling the time spent completing that particular process, Tom would tell Architectural Digest, we had to hand select the wood. I used a shipbuilder who's done a lot of boat interiors. It took a few tries to get right. At one point, it was all painted black, but I prefer the lighter, sort of country funky look. The key was the finish, making it look distressed, but naturally. In fact, Tom had such an eye for detail that he asked Blakely to concentrate on distressing the areas of the wood where hands would have worn down the surface naturally over a period of years. Now, as amazing as this place looks, it's still not all that large. To make up for that, Tom placed a sofa in his study that turns into a guest bed while also installing a large English desk that pulls double duty as his dining room table. But what this place might lack for in size, it makes up in distinct spaces and nooks full of antiques from Tom's trips to England. If you can't tell by now, Tom's tastes gravitate towards the 17th and 18th century. He even owns a heavy oak table scarred in what looks like century-old ax marks. Elsewhere in the apartment, you'll find things like a purdy shotgun cleaning kit, a regimental sword that's been stuffed in the hallway umbrella stand, and a western saddle perched on a stand in the middle of his bedroom. 
Two of his wall panels open up to reveal a bar stocked with single malt, in particular a Macallan special blend to mark the wedding of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, which is half Charles' birth year of 1948 and half hers of 1961. All in all, it really is an incredible collection, even if, as Tom told AD, I have too much stuff in here. The thing is, I was never in a position monetarily to invest in some of the antiques. I'd always admired, so I really went kind of crazy. Crazy in a good way, I'd say. That being said, perhaps the craziest thing about Tom's apartment is that as nice as it is, he doesn't come around here all that much anymore. Instead, he prefers to spend his evenings and weekends at his 65-acre ranch a little further away. So let's head there next. Originally built in the 1930s and owned by former American singing legend Dean Martin, Tom purchased this Spanish colonial-style ranch house located in Ventura, California in 1988 for a little over $5 million. And thanks to its secluded nature, it's now his main home. He explained his reasoning recently to People magazine, telling them, I'm a fairly private person, my relationships and my ranch keep me sane. Of course, that doesn't mean this place is lacking when it comes to luxurious extras. And not only does it boast a heliport, tennis and volleyball courts, as well as multiple swimming pools, Tom's property also contains its very own three-hole putting course, complete with a practice green. Other custom amenities, much of which Tom installed himself are said to include a seven car garage, horse stables, corrals, a tack room, a cabana, and a specially designed playhouse for Tom's daughter that has both running water and electricity. During a 2018 interview with Closer Weekly, Tom told them about his home. It's a great counterpoint to the acting business, which is an abstraction. You do something, it's up on a piece of film, and everybody argues whether it's good or bad. On the ranch, you dig a hole and plant an oak tree, and I've probably planted a thousand of them. It's real, it's there, and you can watch it grow. Another thing that Tom likes to watch grow around his family home are avocados. The ranch was actually a working avocado farm prior to Tom moving in and the property still houses around 1,500 native trees, which Tom maintains to this day. Back in 2007, Tom would claim that his avocados were selling like hotcakes, but only a few years later in 2012, the worm had turned and Tom was finding it increasingly hard to sell his goods, telling the media that it was hard to make a living, let alone a profit. Then things got even weirder. In 2015, Tom and his wife were sued for stealing truckloads of water from a hydrant, serving a construction site during a drought. According to the lawsuit, Tom allegedly drove a large water tender type truck to the site at least a dozen times to take water illegally from the hydrant to use on his property over a period of two years. Well, authorities would send Tom two cease and desist letters, but when he ignored those, they got more serious and hit him with the lawsuit. Selleck was then ordered to pay back $21,000 to cover the cost of damages and legal fees. He was also banned from taking more water from the district for his own use. But considering Tom is still going strong over on CBS's Blue Bloods to the tune of around 200k per episode, I think he can probably afford it. The weirdest thing about all of this, neither Tom or his wife actually enjoy eating avocados that much. In fact, he once told People Magazine, honestly, they make me gag, but it's just as well, I'll sell my portion. Well, at least Tom Selleck has finally found the one place he's truly happy after a long and remarkable career that's kept him busier than most folks. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude this house tour. Let me know what you thought of Tom's homes down in the comments. Which would you prefer to live at? The antique apartment or his sprawling ranch? Also, feel free to tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.